With the numbers of those infected climbing, there is growing concern about how the country will move forward. Many looking to Washington for answers and a plan. President Trump is set to address the nation at 8 o'clock tonight about the coronavirus. Jonathan Martinez is joining us live in the newsroom with details on how Washington is trying to ramp up the fight against the coronavirus. Yeah, Christine, like many things in Washington, how prepared and how proactive the country is when it comes to the coronavirus really depends on who you're asking. But the one thing most can agree on, things will likely be getting worse. As testing continues, the results are concerning. Coronavirus. 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 COVID-19. More than 1,000 confirmed cases in more than three dozen states and growing. The World Health Organization now officially characterizing the virus as a pandemic. This is a really serious problem that we have to take seriously. The flu has a mortality of 0.1%. Sure. This has a mortality of 10 times that. Okay. And that's the reason why I want to emphasize we have to stay ahead of the game in preventing this. Across the country, communities are taking action to limit crowds and contain the virus. But right now, critics worry the White House plan is confusing at best. We are just appalled that the administration really has had no plan. Even as thousands of passengers are shuffled from the infected Grand Princess to military bases, it's not clear what comes next. We have people who have tested positive who are being held at an Air Force base in San Antonio, and we don't have a plan on what to do with them. A federal task force and congressional committees continue to discuss the illness as the numbers of infected Americans continues to climb and the markets fall. We're prepared and we're doing a great job with it, and it will go away. Just stay calm. It will go away. Some are accusing the president of downplaying the severity of the outbreak. Is the worst yet to come, Dr. Fauci? Yes, it is. Can you elaborate? I can say we will see more cases and things will get worse than they are right now. Many in Washington also worrying about the long-term prognosis. Health officials are urging that non-essential mass gatherings of 1,000 people or more now be canceled. President Trump will address the nation about the coronavirus tonight at 8 o'clock, and you can watch that address right here on Channel 2 News and online at clicktohouston.com. Guys, back over to you.